Hi guys, Drew Brashler again with the A5500 from Oracle. Um, we installed R6, R10, R5, and R9. Now one thing that I like to do while building these is to take a highlighter and mark off which components I've already placed on the board. So I'm going to go ahead and take my highlighter and highlight R5 and R10, R6, and R9. So those are the four resistors that we've so far placed on this mic. Next, I have a uh, mil-spec um, 15K half-watt resistor. This is R1. And then I have two resistors. These are the 270K for R3 and R4. So we'll grab the microphone. And we can see here that R3 and R4 are right down here. So we will take these two. And just for um, aesthetics sake, I like to keep all of the bands facing the same way. So usually I like to have um, like all of the numbered things that actually have names on them pointing to the left and all of the things that have names pointing up or down if they're written on the sides. And for the normal resistors that have the color coding, I like to have the first number on the left. And that way when I look at this later I can see yes that is indeed that. So we're going to go ahead and take this and bend this lead down on either side and we will drop this right into R4. Just like that. We will go ahead and flip this over and you can take a pair of diagonal cutters or just use your fingers. We're basically just going to do that. Now since these two are right next to each other I'm going to go ahead and solder these right now. So grab our soldering iron, tin the tip just a little bit, flick it off, and then get in here and solder these down. Just like that, and the next one. Okay, just like that. Now, set your soldering iron to the side in a safe location so you don't burn yourself. Take your diagonal cutters and snip off the leads. Set those to the side. They're always good to have around in the shack. All right, and we are gonna grab the next resistor and do the same thing. So, bend these leads down and making sure the red, which is a two, is in the same location as R4. Plop that into R3. Turn this over. Push those to the sides. Now with uh, this, we want to move all these wires out of the way so we don't burn them uh, when we're soldering. So we have those ready. Grab your soldering iron and your solder. Tin the tip flick it off, and then get in here and solder on those pads. And then on the other one as well. There we go. Very good. And set your soldering iron off to the side. And lastly, I have my R1, which I have changed the value on this one. Now, I'm not going to clip off those leads right now, um, just for time's sake for you guys. Uh, but this is uh, one of my mil-spec 1% uh, resistors, which is awesome. And so right here, R115K. So we're going to go ahead and find that on the board, which is right there. It says R1. And I kind of like the, uh, just for aesthetic's sake, just take a look at this thing and, um, you know, figure out which, which thing you want up. I personally am going to have uh, the value and the dale facing up. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, bend these leads down here. So bend them down. And now that they're bent down, we can go ahead and plop this right into R1. Push that right down in there. 
and hold the hold the component as you flip it over to bend those leads out. Grab your soldering iron and solder. Tim the tip. And go ahead and get down in here and solder on the board. Now I'm making things a little bit more difficult on myself by keeping this in the um, in the chassis, but I figured it would make for a good video. There you go. So now that those things are soldered on there, go ahead and clip them off, and we will grab our highlighter and mark off which ones we've done. So we just did. R1, and we did R3 and R4. Enjoy.